What's up guys, it's Sonic here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we went to Lake Kingdom, and collected a bunch of different uh, power moons like usual, and also defeated one of the Birdlums. And uh, now we're at the Wood Kingdom here, and we're trying to head to uh, Sky Garden, I guess. As you can tell by the title. Road to Sky Garden. Uh, anyway, we got these like robot little things, and apparently they're the species of this uh of this uh wooded kingdom. And wow, okay, this actually feels like you're in the woods. Like, kind of just stuck here, and you can get lost very easily. So uh. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Alright, we got these things again that we can't really do anything about. Uh, Alright, we got the music here. Yo, can Mario dance again? Okay, he can. Nice. <laughs> Just like in the trailer. But this time he's dancing in his boxers. Great. Alright, uh, we also have these guys who will sell us the uh, caps and stuff, but not gonna really buy anything especially cause don't really have any coins don't have any purple coins and have very few uh... regular coins in general to be honest and okay looks like we have this uh... sphinx again who will uh... we have to answer his riddle alright what does the monster want from this kingdom flowers Yeah, that's because uh, Cappy told us that he's getting the... I forget the exact name of it, but it was the uh, bouquet of something. I just call it the bouquet of piranha plants, even though I know that's not the right name of it. Uh, It looks like that's the only way we're supposed to go. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, Anyway, so yeah, today... It's what, Monday? I don't know. Again, I'm kind of pre-recording this stuff because I'm going on vacation on uh, Friday. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, probably while I'm on vacation, I'm probably going to play this a lot, like on the plane or on the bus and train. So, yeah. And, okay, we got these guys who... Yeah, I can stretch out their legs and stuff. So they're kind of like blocking out their, uh... Their head with those, like, pots or whatever. Which is pretty cool. And then... You can, uh, possess them after you get rid of their, uh... Pot heads, I guess. And, um... Yeah, you can possess them, which is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, though, today's Monday. And I know I was supposed to do a uh, Mario Kart Monday, but I'm going to dedicate this entire week, so. Okay, wait, what? Deep Woods, I thought I died. Okay, um, this is a little weird. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, though, I'm going to dedicate the whole week, uh, to Super Mario Odyssey here. So, I'll be continuing my, uh, like, segments and stuff, probably either Friday or Sunday. And, okay, we got the T-Rex, but this time he's awake and he's... Whoa, okay, this is actually pretty terrifying. He's out to kill us. Oh my god. And he has like a top hat too, so we're not able to possess him. Oh man, I'm I'm stuck here. How do I get out of this place? <laughs> this is absolutely terrifying. Mario's even shivering. I don't even think it's from the cold. I think it's from the. Okay, and I can be a tree. Um, yeah, this is really terrifying though. Is this a moon? Power moon? Oh, okay, so this one's a blue power moon. 
I don't think it matters what color it is, but I think in every kingdom, it is a different color. Alright, can I bring this tree with me or no? No, I can't. Alright, let's try and avoid the uh, dinosaur. Wherever he is. You can kind of feel his like footsteps with uh, the HD rumble, which is pretty cool. Oh god, no, I don't want this. Okay. Protected myself, at least. But yeah, I actually have the uh, Joy-Cons detached, because I want to test that out. To see uh, what that would do. Like, with motion controls and stuff. Okay, there we go, nice. So you can, like, flick the Wii Remote. And, uh, be able to... Uh, do the spin attack by doing that. Pull a lever to receive a seed. Okay, there we go. So now we plant that. Yes, alright, we're out of here. Thank god. So, wait, so is it every time that you like fall off, you go to that deep woods? Because that can be a bit annoying. All right, now I don't even know where I am. Is this where we started? Yeah, there's the Odyssey right there. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna actually stay on the edge of this. I think there's a power moon at the end of uh, this area here, which is pretty cool. Um, I also like how Mario like gains more momentum when he's going downhill. Just a cool little reference. Well, not reference, but like cool little detail. It seems like he does go slower a little bit when he goes uphill. And oh god, I almost fell off again. Alright, let's possess this guy again. Get a good view of things. For uh, how tall he is and stuff. Okay, we can get over here climb up this tree here and nice we got another power moon topped a tall tree I actually like these little enemies here because they kind of like are adapted to uh, their environment and like they kind of remind me of, like giraffes or something like that where they have to have long necks to uh, gather food from the top trees but here they adapted to Mario where they have to get really tall so that they don't get squashed which is really cool uh, can I be this fire bro or no okay yes I can so I guess this is the new fire Mario This is actually really cool. So now I'm Fire Mario, but I'm not Fire Mario. If that makes any sense. Uh, anyway, I don't really know what to use this guy with. Can I burn these puddles? No. And the puddles hurt me. Okay. Good to know. Uh... I mean, I can shoot fireballs, but the toxic mist stuff, or the toxic, is really getting to me. I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of, uh, Planet Wisps. Or, uh, not, yeah, Planet Wisp. I think that's what it's called. In, uh, Sonic Colors. Just because, like, it has the, uh, that's kind of the same, like, area like this like mechanical like type of red steel it just reminds me a lot of I forget which act it is but I know that it's, uh I think it's act two or act three that um it really reminds me of I don't know why just by looks of it and stuff all right, Cappy, you can let go now. All right, I guess not. Okay, there we go. 
Never mind. I got him. Okay, so, uh... I guess these are a new type of piranha plants. They... Because I don't think I've ever seen... Piranha plants shoot out poison like that. I think maybe in Super Mario uh, 3D World. But I don't really remember. Anyway, we can uh, clear the poison with uh, our hat, which is pretty useful. So I like that. I also like the music here a little bit, too. It sounds really cool. Alright. Oh, nice. We can push that up with uh, our giant ability to stretch. Then we can get over here. Get another power moon. The nut in the red maze. Wasn't really much of a maze, but okay. I'll take it. Uh anyway, like I said, I really do like these guys. They're like a weird, unique type of uh new enemy. Alright, so we gotta push that up. Gotta watch out for the other ones though. Like that. Okay, nice. So now, get another checkpoint, nice. Surprised we haven't seen uh, that other uh, power up with uh, the health power up. So I'm guessing that it's rare or something. And, oh, okay, we can uh, possess the uh, Piranha plant if we want. I don't know why you would want that. Because all it does is spit poison. Which isn't really that helpful because that hurts you. But uh, anyway, we got a power moon right there by just killing one of those giant piranha plants. And now because of that, we're able to uh, access that P-switch. So yeah, the P-switches in this game just really just activate other things. They don't turn coins into bricks, or they don't, like, make P-doors or whatever, like in Super Mario Maker. And they don't, uh... What's the other thing that they do? I forget. Or open doors, I guess. And, of course, I messed up there. I didn't even mean to walk off that right there. But again, it's fine, because in this game, like I said, there's no lives. But yeah, this isn't the trailer here, the uh when you go in the flowers and stuff. We've seen that uh previously in the trailers and stuff. Alright, so there's purple coins there, but I'm not gonna really worry about them. Wow, okay, I messed up pretty bad there. But yeah, that section right there, like, those platforms that, uh, just kind of, like, sink down, they remind me of those, uh, platforms in, uh, in, uh, that one Super Mario 64. Because I actually, I was actually watching that, like, there was, like, top ten, like, or er, saves and speed runs or whatever. And I think two of them actually had that section where they had the falling platforms like this. And then um, they almost messed up, but they saved themselves. So, yeah. Uh, okay, we have actually... Do these connect? Okay, yeah, this leads us back to the uh, other area here. Okay, so now, don't really want to get ahead of ourselves, because I have a feeling that if you do, you fall off, basically. Okay, but this will lead us to the area right here, this tower. Alright, the sky gap, the 
Sky Garden Tower. I was gonna say Sky Garden or whatever. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, so you possess this guy again. Hit these blocks. Alright, nice. And I was just talking about that thing. How we haven't had it recently, but there we go, we have it again. Uh, I messed up there. But I think I can get back. Alright, so this guy's actually really helpful. Like, he can jump higher than Mario, so. It's an automatic win, I guess. And he can stay up there, too. It's not like it's only for like a limited time. Like, he stays up there until you uh, let go of the B button. Like that. Ah, uh, we're just like, just not enough to be able to get up there. But now we are. And we got another blue moon right there. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Because it's actually, uh, it's one of my uh, favorite uh, restaurants, to be honest. Blue moon. You ever heard of it? It's a pretty good, uh, like Mexican restaurant. I used to get grilled cheeses there all the time. Anyway, we got the Budlums again. This time we're uh, facing the guy on the left, of course, because he's the last one. So, I don't know who else is going to be the uh, bad guys then, because these guys will be... We already fought all of them, unless we fight them again. Anyway, too late chumps. We snagged the Sari Boquette already. Now, why don't you scam or scram so we can grab the rest of the flowers as well? Or maybe I'll just make you scram. Alright, this guy kind of reminds me of a. Uh, Ludwig. Oh, okay, it's this guy. I've se we've seen him in the trailer too. So yeah, he just spits out poison. And then you have to wipe it away with your hat. And then be able to, uh... Hit him on his head. Alright, man, he's getting his poison everywhere. Alright, that heart would have been useful before. But... Now that we, uh down to two lives it's not really that useful all right this guy takes a long time to like oh can I hit him okay I can hit him back but like I can't like hit him so that he will like uh, stop or whatever Come on, I jumped on him. Alright, whatever. We got him. And he's dead. Okay, so we're actually not... It doesn't look like we're in a wooded kingdom. It actually looks like we're in like some type of emulated wooded kingdom. Because like, you can kind of see like... It's like a dome or whatever. Like right... Like there, you can see like the triangles and stuff. So maybe this is all like just a fake of a wooded kingdom and instead it's like a factory with emulated or experimental plants or whatever. Because <laughs> that's not, really you're not in a dome. Unless maybe it's a greenhouse that you're in. But like a giant greenhouse that's like a giant dome filled with uh, wooded creatures and plants and stuff anyway we got the path to the secret flower field now so there's really like two sections to this uh, area just like um, what's it called uh, forget what it's called uh, sand kingdom that's right cuz like lake kingdom we didn't really have two areas it was just 
he fought the hoodlum and then or the budlum and then you were on your way basically all right I can't come on I can't get this stupid bunny oh I hit him come on that it's like that stupid bunny from uh Super Mario Galaxy let me try and use motion controls here. There, I got him. What the heck? There we go. And just like in Super Mario Galaxy, we get a uh, moon, but in Super Mario Galaxy, it was a star. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it looks like we're supposed to go here, I guess. What the heck are these things? Oh, what the heck? What the heck was that? That just made us go super fast. So it attaches to your hat. And it's like some type of like speed booster. Wow. Okay. And now we're a tank. Okay. Uh Oh, now I guess we can access this area here. This is where we're supposed to go. Yes. All right, and then we make another beanstalk. And get off here. The recharge station is crowded. Someone died. Wow. Okay. Uh, what about this? Why is Mario still shivering? I don't really understand. Okay, and we got a uh, moon for thanks for the charge. Um, okay. Anyway, anything special here? Anything good? Yeah, so really the only things that you can get in a question mark block now are coins or a heart, which is kind of sad because like in um what's it called? In like Super Mario Galaxy it used to be like I think you can even get fire flowers in Super Mario Galaxy, but like you can get one ups, you could get like mushrooms in like other games, you could get like tanuki leaves but in here just coins or a heart and it's kind of sad but you know maybe later on there'll be other things in question mark blocks it doesn't even look like there's purple coins in uh question mark blocks uh anyway got some flying goombas here so wait we can actually fly with mario nice but I guess the power-ups, yeah, have really been replaced with, uh, things like this Goomba here. We can fly. Alright, where are we going now? Down here? Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to go down here. Uh, oh wait, actually we are. Nice, okay. We got all the moon coins, and with that, we get a power moon up there. So let's go ahead and get that. Nice. Wandering in the fog. Alright, so now we head back to where we were. So yeah, I guess those rocket sections are really just like the uh, other uh, like normal like bonus sections or whatever uh, anyway so we got a checkpoint there oh okay we're actually in a new area here but um I think because we got that checkpoint there I'm gonna end things off so um yeah thank you guys all for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more Super Mario Odyssey right here on Tonic Bye.